When tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. There is no justification for taking away individuals' freedom in the guise of public safety. I think myself that we have more machinery of government than is necessary, too many parasites living on the labor of the industrious. Government big enough to supply everything you need is big enough to take everything you have. The course of history shows that as a government grows, liberty decreases. The two enemies of the people are criminals and government, so let us tie the second down with the chains of the constitution so the second will not become the legalized version of the first. The issue today is the same as it has been throughout all history, whether man shall be allowed to govern himself or be ruled by a small elite. When the people are afraid of the government, that's tyranny. But when the government is afraid of the people, that's liberty. When you abandon freedom to achieve security, you lose both and deserve neither. A true patriot will defend his country from its government. When once a republic is corrupted, there is no possibility of remedying any of the growing evils but by removing the corruption and restoring its lost principles, every other correction is either useless or a new evil. Laws that forbid the carrying of arms. Disarm only those who are neither inclined nor determined to commit crimes. Such laws make things worse for the assaulted and better for the assailants, they serve rather to encourage them to prevent homicides, for an unarmed man may be attacked with greater confidence than an armed man. The end of democracy and the defeat of the American Revolution will occur when government falls into the hands of lending institutions and moneyed in corporations. Evil triumphs when good men do nothing. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, and to institute new government. The press is impotent when it abandons itself to falsehood. A private central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army. We must not let our rulers load us with perpetual debt. A well-informed citizenry is the best defense against tyranny. To learn, you have to listen. To improve, you have to try. The government you elect is the government you deserve. Free men do not ask permission to bear arms. Men of quality are not threatened by women of equality. When the representative body have lost the confidence of their constituents, when they have notoriously made sale of their most valuable rights, when they have assumed to themselves powers which the people never put into their hands, then indeed their continuing in office becomes dangerous to the state. No generation has a right to contract debts greater than can be paid off during the course of its own existence. Equal rights for all, special privileges for none. I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. Who will govern the governors? There is only one force in the nation that can be depended upon to keep the government pure and the governors honest, and that is the people themselves. They alone, if well informed, are capable of preventing the corruption of power, and of restoring the nation to its rightful course if it should go astray. They alone are the safest depository of the ultimate powers of government. In matters of style, swim with the current, in matters of principle, stand like a rock. Peace is that brief glorious moment in history when everybody stands around reloading. The worst day in a man's life is when he sits down and begins thinking about how he can get something for nothing. 
Democracy is 51% of the people taking away the rights of the other 49%. Thomas Jefferson quote, The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy, as cause for withdrawing from a friend. The man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. You know well that government always kept a kind of standing army of news writers who, without any regard to truth or to what should be like truth, invented and put into the papers whatever might serve the government ministers. This suffices with the mass of the people who have no means of distinguishing the false from the true paragraphs of a newspaper. The course of history shows that as a government grows, liberty decreases. Difference of opinion leads to inquiry, and inquiry to the truth. Does the government fear us? Or do we fear the government? When the people fear the government, tyranny has found victory. The federal government is our servant, not our master. Experience hath shown, that even under the best forms of government those entrusted with power have, in time, and by slow operations, perverted it into tyranny. To consider judges as the ultimate arbiters of all constitutional questions is a very dangerous doctrine indeed, and one which would place us under the despotism of an oligarchy. The reason that Christianity is the best friend of government is because Christianity is the only religion that changes the heart. The cornerstone of democracy rests on the foundation of an educated electorate. Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. The purpose of government is to enable the people of a nation to live in safety and happiness. Government exists for the interests of the governed, not for the governors. It is more honorable to repair a wrong than to persist in it. To compel a man to furnish funds for the propagation of ideas he disbelieves and abhors is sinful and tyrannical. Our liberty depends on the freedom of the press, and that cannot be limited without being lost. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal, hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. No government should be without critics. If its intentions are good then it has nothing to fear from criticism. Laws that forbid the carrying of arms disarm only those who are neither inclined nor determined to commit crimes. The time to guard against corruption and tyranny is before they shall have gotten hold of us. It is better to keep the wolf out of the fold, than to trust to drawing his teeth and talons after he shall have entered. It is the old practice of despots to use a part of the people to keep the rest in order. Rebellion to tyranny is obedience to God. If we are to guard against ignorance and remain free, it is the responsibility of every American to be informed. He who knows nothing is closer to the truth than he whose mind is filled with falsehoods and errors. A little rebellion now and then, is a medicine necessary for the sound health of government. I think we have more machinery of government than is necessary, too many parasites living on the labor of the industrious. The greatest calamity which could befall us would be submission to a government of unlimited powers. Dependence leads to subservience. The spirit of 1776 is not dead. It has only been slumbering. The body of the American people is substantially Republican. 
but their virtuous feelings have been played on by some fact with more fiction, they have been the dupes of artful maneuvers and made for a moment to be willing instruments in forging chains for themselves. But times and truth dissipated the delusion and opened their eyes. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. Trade liberty for safety or money and you'll end up with neither. Liberty, like a grain of salt, easily dissolves. The power of questioning, not simply believing, has no friends. Yet liberty depends on it. The federal government is our servant, not our master. Nothing can now be believed which is seen in a newspaper. Truth itself becomes suspicious by being put into that polluted vehicle. The real extent of this state of misinformation is known only to those who are in situations to confront facts within their knowledge with the lies of the day. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.